What's going on, everyone? Um, if you watched my previous video, I'm sure you've heard that I've been real busy doing installs and everything, and the summer's just been crazy. So I figured I'd give you guys a little um, bit of an explanation of different types of pressure controls, a um, few different styles, and how they work and how to set them. So here we are, guys. Just your basic garden variety of basic mechanical pressure controls for high pressure, low pressure, condenser fan cycling, and your screw on types. Um, we'll start with this one first. This is your low pressure control here, okay? This monitor is low pressure, which means say your unit is short cycling, um, low on refrigerant or anything like that. This will shut the unit off shut your compressor off or on the pump down when, you when your solenoid shuts off it will pump down and shut the unit off the way it works is you see here you have your high event and your differential a lot of people get confused with this and think it's plus or minus but your high event say we're at 25 right now that means when your unit turns on your solenoid your free arm pressure will rise to 25 and it will turn the unit on right now the differential is at 10 i just took these out of the boxes you have to fine tune these and you know make them right when you're actually out in the job but say it turns on at 25 your differential is 10. that means it's 25 minus 10 this will shut off at 15 psi on a pump down or a low pressure situation say you have a leak okay next one we have our high pressure control same principle it's just with high pressure so say on a high pressure situation you have a clogged condenser your condenser fan motors out right now it's set around 300 like i said i've just taken these all out of the boxes normal situation i'd have them set around 400 okay with your differential of 40 right now okay so say it's set up shut off at 400 psi with a 40 differential it would turn back on at 360. it's basically just doing subtraction guys that's it your differential is whatever you minus from what you have have it set at like right now it's set at 300 say minus 40 so it's going to turn back on at 260 psi next one up we have our condenser fan cycling control which is the same basically the same principle as your high head pressure control you can just see um, the differences in the pressures that it's set at you know normally i like to set these on um, we have to use these in winter situations here um, even if you have a headmaster you still have to use these okay a lot of times here because it gets real cold in the winter so i like to set them normally at 225 250 with the with the 40 psi differential so that means at 250 i'm coming on in the winter shutting off about 210 and as that fan still rotates as it's shut off it's still going to spin for a little bit so you're still going to bring your pressure down to about 200 or so you know so you i found in the winter you got to keep them above 185 at least that's why a lot of headmasters you see are still set at you know 180 at least because other than that you don't have enough head pressure to keep that system operating right especially in cold weather next one is just your basic dual pressure control same thing you have low pressure here and you get your high pressure same thing this just trips it out say we hit 400 which is what i normally set them for for your basic you know 404a r22 whatever gonna click off at 400 this one here has a manual reset this button here which i like you can turn this screw in and make it auto which means it'll reset itself say once it drops down to like 300 again it will come back on but i like the manual one just personal preference because say you have a condenser fan motor out you don't want your your system banging off on high head pressure for 12 hours because you could really damage your compressor and the same thing as before you just set the low pressure control the same um, as i just explained on the first low pressure control say it's set at 20 10 degree differential it's going to come on at 20 shut off at 10. 
And these guys are just your basic screw-in types. You see this on a lot, these are on refrigeration units. A lot of times they'll come from the factory like this or a lot of AC units you'll see this. This particular one, I don't know if you guys can see, but cuts in at 250, cuts out at 170. This is actually a fan cycle control. So it cuts in at 250 PSI, cuts out at 170. This is more for, you know, winter and cold weather situations. And, and just another screw-in type head pressure control that you'll see on a lot of stuff. Refrigeration and AC. This one here, if I can read it right, yes, this one cuts out at 425 PSI, drops down to 300 and turns it back on. These screw-in types are all auto reset. There is manual reset ones as well. I just don't have one in my truck at the moment. But they basically all work the same, guys. You just got to know how to set them and you have to set them in the system while it's running because sometimes they're not completely accurate you you you've got to test them with your pump downs or in a high pressure situation say you take a fuse out for your fans or something just to test them to see what psi they are going to shut on and off at and make sure they are working properly there's also ones you know for oil pressure there's i mean they, they got digital controls of this other manual reset one there's all different kinds and different control systems just have transdu transducers that sense the pressure that go down to a whole control panel but this is just your basic basic manual controls that you will see in a lot of units we use the rancos at my company um these have been great i've never had a problem just always anything when you do these guys when you run these cap tubes Make sure they are not rubbing on any pipes, wires, compressors, or themselves. They will vibrate and eventually they will rub a leak. I've seen them rub on anything create leaks. I've seen wires rub on these. The, ir, the wire will arc out and then blow a hole in this. But that's basically it guys. Just wanted to give you a quick overview of some pressure controls and if anyone had any questions, you know, maybe for some beginners. I know when I started, some of this stuff, it was confusing to me. I kept thinking, you know, say with this, it's at 25. Okay, it comes on at 25. This is set at 10. Okay, it shuts off at 10. No, it's not. You have to understand the differential, okay? It would be 25 minus 10, which is 15. There are some pressure controls as well that do do, you know, turn on at 25 and shut off at 10, like you have it set for. You gotta make sure you read it and, and you know what's going on, whether it's a, a differential type pressure control or just standard pressure on either side. So just wanted to give you a quick um, explanation, guys, on the uh, pressure controls, you know? Like I said, there's many more types, but these are your basic ones you're gonna find. And these particular ones are Rancos, but they all operate off the same principle, like the Johnson controls, the pens, whatever, Dan Foss. They're pretty much all the same. Some are a little different, but you can figure it out. They're really not that difficult. Like I said, they all, they're all, they all operate off the same principle. So as again, again, guys, like I said, I've been so busy. I'm just trying to get something up for you guys. And so I figured I'd do some stuff like this, trying to explain things and how some stuff works. So again, guys, like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And I'll catch your boys in the next one.